Hi folks, my name is Lawrence Mann, this is Lawrence Can Draw, and more importantly, this is the XP Pen Artist 12, 11.6 inch if you want to be really technical about this, but for 250 US dollars, this is an absolutely cracking bargain with some amazing features packed in. That's right, you get a batteryless pen with 8,000 levels of pressure and more besides tilt functionality, there's not a lot missing on this tablet to be fair. It has hotkeys which you can program into this. Uh, it comes with one split cable which is USB-C and um, yeah, there's, there's loads packed into this. So let's get down to the review and take a look. Okay, so for the review on this, I spent about two days just doing one illustration. The reason I did that was because this illustration is actually a commission piece that I'm doing for a book cover. So I decided, hey, I'll just keep rolling with it and do the entire illustration just on this tablet because I enjoyed it so much. The bachelor's pen is pretty cool. I actually enjoyed it to the point where there's a slight bit of parallax. I heard other people talking about that and really you can get over parallax. Some people act uh, like it's uh, an arrow in the leg, but realistically you can see it from an angle, but when you're drawing downwards, you know, you're looking over the pen, not really a problem. So yeah. Yeah, I, I think it's something you can easily get over, especially with a bit of practice and not an issue as you can see here. It comes with tilt functionality and it comes with a good pressure level. There's 8,000 levels of pressure there. The pen I found to be absolutely brilliant and it has an eraser too on the end, which a lot of pens don't. So realistically, I found the pen to be one of the best pens out there. And it has this really cool looking coil Tesla tip to it. So brilliant. Let's jump in straight away to the stylus test. Now this came with eight hard nibs and one hard nib straight in the barrel. And it came with one programmable button as well as the eraser. Now, the programmable button is already set to right click. Now, this stylus has a really nice bounce to it and it allows you to use the 8000 plus pressure levels of sensitivity to go from this initial pressure sensitivity to from really light to really hard and back and forth really, really well, as you can see there by that random scribble test. And when we do this uh, light to hard, you can see how well it goes, you know, and I'm doing all different variations there and it's, it's keeping up with me really, really well. And you can see I'm getting some nice straight lines, uh, no matter how fast I go, if I go really slow, if I go really fast, and the different scribbles I'm doing, it's keeping up with me in terms of uh, tilt variation as well that the stylus is capable of. Now, doing nice slow lines, it's still keeping up with me as well, and I'm not getting any lag, which is absolutely great, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, you can see there, you can see the parallax, but this is viewed from a very um, obtuse angle. But realistically speaking, you're not going to see that parallax when you're looking down, as I mentioned previously. This is really a funny camera angle, but realistically speaking, that's probably about two millimeters parallax. See, on the cross hatching, you can see how lovely and straight those lines actually are, which is beautiful there. The hexagonal pen feels really nice in your hand, it has that really nice bounce. So yeah, overall this stylus was a winner. It didn't have a rubber grip or anything, but yeah, it just feels nice to use. It has a nice bounce, so brilliant. That screen like I said is 11.6 inches, which is absolutely fine for me. I found it a little too small. I'm used to the larger screens like 
27 inch like 32 inch which some of you absolutely love those smaller screens like 11 inch 13 inch for you guys i think that's not going to be a problem the resolution however i would have preferred something a little more like 4k a lot of these smaller screens are 1080p screens which this is as well again something you get used to i think when you've got the screen close to you though not a problem if you're the kind of artist who sits on the sofa not really a problem if you do comic book work not really a problem if you're a digital painter then maybe you'd want something a little higher resolution it depends on your style if i'm doing sketch work this smaller tablet is something that i wouldn't mind at all i can keep this tablet downstairs and work when i'm sitting with my family the good thing was about this tablet that the contrast was there. It was strong, vibrant colors and the blacks were black. Now the hotkeys, the hotkeys were pretty good. They felt nice and responsive. They felt clicky. They were programmable as well. Now I'm left-handed, so they did feel upside down, but that's because I didn't bother to actually program them. I could have done that, but no, I, I'm one of those lazy people who never programs their hotkeys. But fine, they were everything I needed them to be. I had Alt and Control in there, and I had Spacebar in there, and there was a Settings key in there. So yeah, I was absolutely fine for all of the applications that I needed them to be. But that was good of them to have them set up for me. Now the scroll bar, I got brush size out of there, I got zoom out of there automatically, especially when I held control and alt, so absolutely great. One thing I've heard people talk about is the fact that this tablet can be slightly warm. Bit strange, um, I wasn't expecting that, and yeah, but I've heard a couple of people mention this, so I thought I'd check this out. So got my heat tester out, and uh, yeah, my digital thermometer, and uh, yeah, went to town on this. So 25 and 26 in the kind of center of the tablet, uh, the lower region, had a feel around, where did it feel warm? Okay, so nearer the, uh, the cable, 31. No, not hot at all. Mystery busted. Let's do a quick unboxing here and see exactly what is in there. Normally I do this at the beginning of the video, but I thought I'd jump in, talk more about the tablet first, and then later on do the unboxing. Hope you don't mind this format. Let me know in the comments below whether you think this style is better or whether you'd rather see the unboxing at the beginning. So straight away the tablet itself, it's absolutely beautiful to look at. It's lovely and thin. You know, there's lots of shots of this throughout, but the tablet itself is really well made, it's lovely and sturdy. The build quality on this is absolutely top notch. Looking through the box, um, the box itself is actually really nice in fact and it's really well laid out, it's very classy. Uh, everything is really well packaged and the manuals come in one box, the cables in another and the stylus is in its own case. But in this box, we have a cleaning cloth, a thank you card, the manual, and a two-fingered glove for artists to use on the tablet itself. Now, we're moving on to the box for the cables. And if we take a look inside of this, we discover uh, three individual cables. Now let's take a look, two of them are packaged together. So let's get those out of the bag first of all. Let's remove them all from the bags. There we go. So first up we have a HDMI to mini display port cable for those of you who have kind of older MacBook Pros for example. There we go. And that's probably why it's white as well to fit with that Mac aesthetic. We have a USB extension extension cable which will become relevant when we get to the setup and we have an all-in-one cable which you know um, uh, we're seeing a lot in uh, in these kind of t uh, smaller tablets now so again we'll we'll come back to that when we do the setup here we have the pen case which uh, the stylus case 
which yeah we've seen this uh, we've seen this case before with XP pen it comes with a nib remover and eight hard plastic nibs there and the stylus itself which I've already told you all about so I'm happy with this stylus I, I think this is absolutely great 8000 levels of pressure tilt capabilities an eraser uh, and a button etc so yep fully happy with that and then we got a power adapter USB power adapter and most of the adapters that you'll need to use this as well although in the setup I'll show you that you may not actually need these at all which is actually really really interesting however it's nice that they've included a, quite a few things here with this tablet you know that I would consider extras that you get with a, a premium grade product so that's the unboxing and yeah there's a lot in there and it's all pretty good stuff that's really well built let's take a moment and look at the setup it's one cable we've seen this kind of thing before and on the end we get HDMI we get a USB and a USB power with the red end there to tell you what it is um, and we get a USB-C connector on the far end now the lead itself isn't overly long but what you do get is a USB extension to uh, extend the power connector or the other USB just in case you have to reach the USB cables round just in case you're using a laptop or your setup is a bit awkward I haven't seen that on other setups so yeah I know a lot of people have complained about these kind of things before now I did find when I was setting this up on my Dell laptop that all the cables worked really really well it all fitted into one laptop I didn't need to use the plugs so it was host powered off of my laptop which is brilliant because it means if I want to go and sit in the park and draw I can do that off of the battery power on my laptop brilliant which basically gives me an all-in-one on the go so if you're looking at this option versus something like a Surface Pro there you go that's an option for you now I'm left-handed hey um only a couple of things to bring up here which is that the tablet doesn't auto recognize left-handed you know I can't pick it up and just tilt it like an etch sketch uh, so I have to go into settings um, I found that I had to do that a, a few times um, so yeah that was a bit annoying that I you know I had to do it more than once if you'd like a few other technical specs and let me read these for you they are the active area of 256 by 144 millimeter, the resolution which is 580 LPI, the display resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels, which we already know. The pen is a PO6 passive pen, six hotkeys, one touch bar. It says usable with left and right hand, which I love the fact they've added that on there. So yeah that's all of the specs that I haven't mentioned I thought I'd just throw those in this is an absolutely cracking tablet I really enjoyed using it and I think for $250 I, I don't think there are other better tablets out there I think that brands like XP pen are have really up their game I, I really enjoyed using it as you can see this dragon that I've been drawing I'm this is a commission piece people have been asking me to not just draw sketches but to see my actual commission work during reviews and during my videos so yeah here you go guys um this isn't finished yet there's a lot more work to do on it but my illustrations take two weeks on average you know sometimes a week sometimes three weeks but hey um yeah there's not a lot more to say about this it's a really good tablet it's got most of the boxes ticks for me in terms of what I look for in a tablet I would have liked a higher resolution screen other than that 
you know, there's very little I would have liked. But I think, you know, obviously on on this, no, you're not going to get much more, especially at this price point. I think for the price point, it's cracking. So, hey, if $250 is your budget, this is a tablet for you. This is the first video I've done in a tiny while. Um, that's because I've had loads of commissions to get on with. I've also been on holiday for the first time in four years. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got a boatload of stuff to review. I mean, literally a pile. So, more stuff coming soon. If you hit like, if you hit subscribe, if you hit that notification bell, then you will see all of this giant pile of review stuff pop up in your feed as well. Hope you liked this video. Hope this helped you in your buying decision if you are looking for a tablet. Let me know what you think. Let me know your questions in the comments below because your questions will actually help other people find out what they are looking for. I'll speak to you guys soon. Have a wonderful day. And remember, if you're drawing something, post it on Twitter or Facebook and tag me and uh, I'd love to see it. Till next time.